For 80 years, the Minnesota Turkey Growers Association has worked diligently to support the state's hard-working turkey farming families. Minnesota has grown to be the nation's leading turkey producer because of the dedication, ingenuity, and care demonstrated by those farm families. In honor of the Minnesota Turkey Growers' 80th anniversary, we're introducing you to some of the families who have shaped modern turkey farming and are committed to providing safe and affordable food. On the aptly named Turkey Lane in Melrose, Minnesota is the Melrose Feed Mill, owned and operated by the Rothfork family since 1959. Pete Rothfork's father started the mill in 1959 and began raising turkeys in 1964. Pete joined the operation in 1970 and has been raising turkeys ever since. He's now joined in the farming operation by his daughter, Jessica Westbrock, and her husband, Andy. Pete's brother-in-law and four nephews are also part of the business, which is truly a family affair. Well, I think we're truly blessed to have one daughter and have her interested in agriculture. Uh, since she's come on, we found that we think more alike than differently, so that's good. We work well together. It's, it's pretty neat to be able to say, you know, third generation, um, and then to have my husband and cousins, other family. We really are a family business, you know. It's, we're not small, but we're not, you know, a huge commercial operation. It's, you know, the turkeys are really raised by families, because even within our family, um, you know, farm managers and their wives work on farms, or, you know, it, it, I just am very proud to be a part of this. Rothfork has a lengthy record of service to the turkey industry, serving as past president of the Minnesota Turkey Growers, past National Turkey Federation chairman, and is a board member for the Midwest Poultry Federation. While leadership roles are important to Rothfork, so too are the opportunities to connect. We, we took poults to quite a few urban schools, usually around Thanksgiving time, uh, to try to show the kids where their food actually comes from not just the grocery store, and the poults are always a big hit. That's that's the most fun for them. They get to actually touch a live animal, which some children in the urban areas don't get a great opportunity to do. Pete's wife, Patty Rothfork, has been equally involved in the turkey business, even playing the role of turkey diva to promote turkey and turkey farming. Uh, what that entailed was a, an apron that said turkey diva, and a feather boa and a tiara. And we went around the state and promoted turkey. Um, we went to the state fair and uh, we talked on the radio about turkey. We made turkey burgers on air on the radio so they couldn't really see what was going on, but it was a lot of fun. The Rothfork family has been committed to turkey farming through good times and bad. They even raised the turkeys delivered to then President George Bush. Bush pardoned the turkeys who were also showcased at Disney World, which led to some unique experiences. We got to the airport and we we're going through the security line and they wanted us to take the turkeys out of the crate. And our handler from Disney says, well, you can't search them. They have diplomatic immunity. They've just been pres <laughs> pardoned by the president of the United States. We got on the plane, Disney had rented the whole first class section for us. The turkeys were on in crates on the seats next to us. It was and surreal. It was surreal. <laughs> and the people on the flight came to get up and see the turkeys and it was it was very well done and it's a memory that we have that we'll never forget as long as we live. With the third generation of Roth Forks involved in the family business, it may not be long before the fourth generation comes on board. Yeah, probably after college, I think, mm -hmm. probably. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs>